What I believe this crisis has finally exposed is this culture's morbid fear of death. Not only do we not want to die, but we're scared to death of causing somebody else's death. Death is bad, but evidently guilt is worse. Being home alone forces introspection. Believe what you want, but I don't think this came as a big surprise to our maker. He's ready for us. The question is, are we ready for what comes next? Now, I begrudgingly accept the fact that we all have to go sometime. What bothers me is the element of surprise. I want just enough warning so that five minutes before I go, I can go hang out with a group of teenagers. If I don't get the latest iPhone, I will just die. <gasps> we have expiration dates on everything. How hard would it be for God to put a stamp on the bottom of our foot? He knows when we're going. It'd come in so handy. Best if used by 2050. Hey, can you help us move next Saturday? Uh, no, I'll be dead by then. Let us check your foot. Why is it that no matter how horrible you were in life, once you die, everybody automatically becomes a saint? I have gone to some funerals where I seriously thought I was in the wrong place. Psst. Psst. Are you here for Bill? Who are they talking about? Funerals should have that one moment like they do in every wedding ceremony. If anyone here believes that this person will not be moving on to a better place, let them speak now or forever hold their peace. Uh, yeah, I could jump on that bandwagon. My mother always said you should never speak ill of the dead. I always thought, why not? They can't hear us. Now's the perfect time. I don't know when it's going to happen, but I've already got my funeral all planned out. When I go, I want everyone to sit down and watch a video where I tell everybody what I really thought of them. I'll be dead. What can they do to me? Then I want to be stuffed and tied to a chair with a tape recorder underneath that keeps saying, Get off my lawn! That would make me so happy.